So I've just been shopping at Morrison's and Barry. I'm going to show you the shots. Um, I brought a mask because if there are a lot of elderly people around, vulnerable people, who want to feel protected and safe, I'm quite happy to wear one. And that's my choice. That's that's a choice I've made to make people feel safe. I don't have a problem with that. But it's all about freedom and choice for me. Just had a long chat with a member of staff um, on the checkouts. Now, because the checkouts have got screens, they don't have to wear masks. But if you're not behind a screen and you work at Morrison's, you've got to wear a mask all day. And um, yesterday I was at Tesco's, a small Tesco's down in the, the um, Cardiff Bay area. And I asked one of the members of staff, do you have to wear that mask all day now, Card you know, Cardiff Bay? And he looked at me and uh, he said something about, yes, the manager. But all I heard was, yes, the manager. And I saw pain in his eyes. Now, as a journalist, you want to be able to communicate with people and ask them how they're feeling. And when I couldn't hear him, but I could see something in his eyes, it really affected me, it really impacted me. And then, you know, I'm as well as... The rumours that we're hearing from a number of schools suggesting children should be wearing masks all day over the age of 11 in some schools in England. Now we've got these members of staff at different shops um, having to wear masks all day. And it's um, <laughs> temporary, you know, to, to keep people happy is fine. What was interesting in Barry and Morrison's I've just been to is that really, I would say 10% of the shoppers were wearing a mask, 90% weren't, but all the staff were that weren't behind a screen. So it was a lot of staff. Any staff walking around had to wear these masks all day. The guy on security. I don't know how they feel about that. I have no idea. I do want to find out. What what was interesting talking to that lady was how we all pulled together at the beginning. She felt that it made a lot of sense. We were very supportive of lockdown. We wanted to get rid of this virus. But when it's coming in now, and I've heard this so many times, why after three, four months, they said they've had no cases of coronavirus in the Morrisons in Barry um, and in other parts of the country, there isn't any. So why are we wearing masks now? And that's what's making people suspicious. Now I'll share with you, you know, people that I've spoken to are too scared to say this, okay, publicly. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, but lots and lots of doctors follow me. Um, one in particular said, you know, this is, this is starting to it's starting to get quite dark. Now that's a problem for me. If people are starting to think, you know, why are they bringing in masks now? Why is Cressida Dick saying that we should be shaming other people because they can't enforce the rule, mandatory masks in England, that she's actually encouraging people to police each other. You know, those things for me is an erosion of trust in the government and then potentially in the police. That is, for me, a concern, especially when I'm hearing from it, people in the medical professional saying, this, this doesn't sound right to me. It's dark, was the word. Something seems to be quite dark. Um, that woman in, in Morrison's at the checkout summed it up incredibly well. She simply said, we all got together, we all worked together, we clapped for the NHS, we cared about each other, we protected the country, went into lockdown. But now we need to come out of lockdown. In Wales, it's very different to England. Uh, the business is just not open down in Cardiff Bay. There was hardly anything open. And the, the shops that were open, you couldn't use cash or you needed to download an app. There were so many rules. I could see it was destroying businesses. Um, I've heard it has destroyed businesses already. Um, they just simply can't keep up with the rental payments because they're not getting any income in. And they may have utilised all the grants and loans that they can. Let's get us, let's get us talking how you feel about the situation. What is happening with the media is we are hearing messages from mainstream media or people with influence on social media, but I want to hear from everyone. So I've got this telephone number and I want you to send me your videos. Please state your name, uh, where you are in the country and how you feel at the moment about the situation. We're all a little bit scared, I think, to say the wrong thing, but I'm very happy to publish your views, whatever they are. Um, it's all about freedom and choice and a balanced media. That's what I stand for please use that telephone number to send me your videos on how you are feeling. Please make sure that you say your name, your job title if you have one, and whereabouts you are in the country, and state what you think about this situation. Right now, where we're at. Tell me about how you feel. Don't just share information or evidence. I think this is a trust war now. This is a trust war. And if people are losing trust in the police or the government, then that, that's in a situation where we don't want to be heading, that's for sure. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel over the last four months and where you were at the beginning and where you are now. 
I don't care what you say, I don't care how you feel, but these voices are so important to get out on a new media platform like mine. Um, I, 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 we are all starting to, to not trust the, the mainstream media as well, potentially, because they're not getting these voices out there. I know how the media works. It's very much run by large PR, communications agencies, news wires. You know, the, 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 the voice of the people is on social media, yes, but let's put some power behind the voice of the people. By I'll certainly put it on my platform. Keep an eye on it. Watch, share, um, and I'll get your voices out there. So this is the telephone number. Please do send me your videos. It's a special telephone number just for these videos, just to hear from you guys.